right, guys, we're back again. Just uh, we're over the other side of the bench from um, about 10 minutes ago. There it is. So we walked over here. So we're doing chicken pot pie, as the Americans call it. Oh, just chicken pie. So we've got the baby peas. We've got the onion. We've got the foil that we're going to put them in all the, the trays. Butternut, pumpkin, celery. I don't think I mentioned that last time. Minced garlic. Carrots. Garlic infused, of course. Thyme, cumin, rosemary. Uh, chicken stock. And then the pillow pastry, like I said. I'm not too sure. Anyway, first up, cook your chicken. So I've already cooked my chicken in the air fryer, like so. I cooked it for too long, so I forgot about it. You then want to chuck two or three cubes of... Oh, wow. you just let them dissolve. We're going to chuck two tablespoons of... Olive oil into, I just call it a pan or a pot, but they always seem to call it a, a, non, a non-stick skillet. So a tablespoon, one, two. So with this stuff too, with dividing, dividing this up for meal prep, just make sure you write everything out. So I put the grammage down because I did write it down, but I have no idea what I put put down here. Um, down in the description below, but just divide it by how many numbers. So if you've got, what have we got? Eight trays here, but I might only use, I don't know, five. Just divide that by the number. There we go. And just let that heat up on medium high. Well, it's heating up a lot, chicken out, I reckon. Take this chicken on here. We're aiming for about 300 grams of chicken, so I want to cook too much too. Too juicy. Not going too well there, Jacko. Like I always say, test it. Next step, we're going to chuck the garlic in with the oil. No, one teaspoon. And then in goes the rest. So we're chucking in the celery, the onion. Chuck the onion in. The carrot, pumpkin. Good if I got it all in. Next thing, gonna chuck our cumin in, thyme and rosemary. We're back. We're back. This stuff's strong, isn't it? What is it? Cumin. I think it's pretty strong. Just go a bit. So I am gonna go 300 grams of chicken. Because the peas are the frozen all pretty well already done, I just chuck them in last. So we go a cup of this. And we 100 grams. So about 100 grams. So you want to leave that on there for about three to five minutes until it's lightly brown. All right, so we're going to chuck the chicken in now. Follow me, Jacko. All up in there. Cooked in, cooked in. Easy with it. Next step, we're going to chuck the stock on in there. So like I said, it's meant to have arrow starch and coconut, what about? coconut milk. Light coconut milk in there, but um, yeah, I've left that out. Next step, get yourself a spoon, distribute it evenly. I see how much things flow so much easier when Harley's not here. They just flow. Next one, so I was a little bit worried about this. I'm not even 
wasn't too sure. 75 grams, so. Look at the size of this thing. Yeah, just put that all on top. Sixty grams. Split that down the middle, I reckon. Looks thick. You give it time to cook some. There you go. How thick does that look? It's actually a casing for the meat to stay fresh. There you go. So this is what we've come up with. Just gonna see how it goes. So like I said, it's not gonna be crispy brown or I don't think it will be. 20 minutes for, 20 minutes at, I've got it on 180. So we'll just see how we go. And we'll be back. Right guys, so this is it. It looks pretty burnt for this one because we um, half forgot that one sort of, or half forgot the whole lot. Now for the whole recipe, you got 1,185 calories. Had to do some number crunching. 131 carbs, 26 fat, 99 protein. So if you break that down, you got 301 calories, uh, 33 carbs, seven fat and 25 protein. Yeah, that's it guys, and we'll, um, we'll dig into it, man. Jack and I will probably have all of it, all of them. Probably would recommend putting all the ingredients in, so the light coconut oil, uh, oil uh, light coconut cream, chuck that in with the mix, and arrow starch in with the, the stock. But apart from that, it's pretty good.